Hello power users, Zbigniew Pukowski here, it's been really cold, so that's the blanket. And today I want to talk with you about onError function. This is in contraposition of if error function because it will work only on unhandled errors and it will be actually not a regular function but an on up for formula which will be triggered globally not only on the same screen we will talk about error kinds we will talk about what to do with those errors about notification what differs is it from if error and how to enable this feature in power apps so stay with me is big new Fukowski in let's start Okay, so let's start in my debugging application, which I created specially for those kind of tutorials. And in, in our screen, we have two sub subtractions. So let me play it. First is um, the first subtraction is if error subtraction. It means that the function itself is wrapped around if error. And if I divide this by zero, I get information that this is invalid, but the on error won't trigger. And another one is basically the same one, but without the if on error trigger. So it's, uh, so, sorry, without the if error trigger. So it, it actually trigger on error app part of our application. And this part is in the app and on, in the on error part. So first of all, let's let's see at if error, and I will talk about for a minute. I've already created a 20 minutes long video about if error functions. I will post it in the first comment if I won't forget. If if I do, then just write if error on my channel, and you will find it. It will be a couple of days older probably. And in this section, I am I'm setting a variable which is in the value uh, which is having the value of um, subtraction of the these text boxes so i'm wrapping it in if error function and if if error which will be a boolean value this this part of if error function the value will be in the boolean so it can either be true or false if error happens then it will be true and it will give users notification first mirror error message with the the message of the error and set the value uh, to the blank. Why it's important? Because if error is basically the function which will break your on error logic. If you have any on error logic in your application, then if you create if error, you will notice that there will be no on error trigger. Just like I've already, you've already saw on my my triggering i have var count on error which is actually at on error let me show it i'm setting the counter with the counter plus one so it if it triggers it triggers and it will get our count counter uh, next value so handling an error with if error will break this logic it means that the error is handled and this is okay. You've already anticipated the error and give users some notice about this error. Then this, this means that you will have to, even if you anticipate this error, it will be not logged in with any kind of on error logic you have. So you have to secure it as well. If you have any kind of Azure application, error handling or trace function or or logs which i will show you um, briefly in my application then you need to also secure all the if errors or you will get the false data because part of errors will be not visible and when you don't have this if error function like i do in my second checkbox let me go to the on select and in on select i'm just creating a var subtraction which is 
the value of those text boxes. That means that there is no if error function. So if I enable my logic in on error in the settings, let me go to the settings. Let me go to the upcoming features and formula level error management need to be set to on. So if you have this, and I don't know in which version you will have this by default, so always check. Then you will have the on error function. And this means that, that whether, sorry, this means when this error will occur anytime in this application, you can get the up on error part of your application. And here, you can do whatever you like, whatever is good for you with this, with those errors. Based on that, that you will have the whole table with errors that occurred. And I've created a logs, logs which are specifically designed with in my application. And this is a dataverse table. You can also log it in the SharePoint list. You can also do it on other with support of the trace function, but this will be excluded from this tutorial because this is only a canvas part, but you, you should know that this is also possible, but I'm on the dev environment without any Azure subscription and no money. So we will skip this. And what I do, I will, I'm just creating a logs, which is a, a new log record. And from the, from my on error message, I get all the first error things that I want to, I want to show to the user. Okay. And in this logs, I have ba basically used two things, which one of is host and we will not cover this and the other is first error and all error table so basically if you trigger on error function you will get whole table with all errors details and there this will be a table of records depending on how many errors you get but first from this table so if you use the function first all errors table, then you will get the first error, but it's already been created for you. So when whether whenever you are using the first error, it will be something which will get you to the first error record. So basically you have a couple of things. Let me do the space. Let me cut the dot and recreate again. And as you can see, first error have many of many things to consider. Okay. So first of all, we have the details and details are really specific because they are based on the network HTTP error codes. So if your error have this code, it will be triggered here. Uh, most popular is 404, which we already all knew. And in my dataverse, in my table, as you can see, we have a couple of those errors. But if your error is not a network error type, you will have nothing there. So it may puzzle you, but this is actually a probably uh, you will have nothing more times than you will have an error code. Then you have an error kind. And this is interesting because these kinds will have a number, which is value here. And as you can see in Microsoft the documentation, error handling, error kind, and values, you will have all the values. For you to be uh, to have this more readable, you can actually have a table to switch the numeric value to a to a value which will make more sense, and you can get this table and see what num a num value will have. Uh, so this this will this is important because this will give you an understanding of what error you get. Then you will have the message. 
message can either be really descriptive or really something which will tell you nothing. So let me show you the messages I've got. In current argument type, expected a number. This is this is good. In valid operation time division by zero, this is good. Office 365 user and error, and this will be a long, 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 long error. So either it can, can be descriptive or it can give you absolutely nothing. Uh, so we have the message, then we have the observed, which is actually the name of the control which uh, the error occurred on. So this is something which will will be really valuable for you. You can get to your specific control and debug it. So this is this is important. And the source will be the the um, formula on on your control on which uh, this happens. So the source for my errors is let's say text input one uh, one dash three on select and this on select uh, means that this is the part of your control the specific part on which the error occurred so this this is this is valuable info and this is all in the first error you can also use the the whole table with the all errors but for me i will tell you that in 95 percent of situations the first error is something which will be enough for you to debug your application and to get a lot of info about your application um, when users get in and start testing and breaking your application. So this is it. This is unfair error function. So, oh, one more thing, sorry, before we split parts. In on error function, you can also give user a kind of notification uh, that the error occur, and you you can get um, in this notification all the info about first error. So you can get first error. Sorry. So you can uh, oh. so you can get all the information about this error, whichever you feel that the user should be informed about. So probably not the name of control they observed, probably not the source, probably yes, the error message. Even if it's not descriptive, it will give you a brief idea about what this error is about. So the message can be important and probably also about the the http status code if it is there yeah so this is this is um info you can get about this error you can also um yeah this i think that that's it that's it for this this part and also you can get get uh, the error sorry the notification type Up. the notification tab error for this kind of of notify of the user so let us see if it's actually worked this is working yeah you get the notification of course write the description you want here i won't uh, do it from from the start to finish because I value your time. You can do it yourself if you need it. Yeah, so this is all about the on error function. We've already handled the differences between handled and unhandled errors. We told about the if error function. We told about all errors table and specifically first error record. And we talk, talked about all the details in the first error. We, we, we've gone through different parts of this first error record and uh, already seen the error kinds, error message, error observed, error source. We've also told about the notify 
uh, in the on error. This concludes our tutorial. I hope it was informative. So the big new Fukowski out. As you know, I've got many other videos about Power, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate. 100 videos about Power uh, Power Apps is coming uh, sooner. It's in the production already. I believe this is 87 videos. So look at my channel for other other content. I hope. Uh, it was helpful and yeah, it's big Fukowski out. See you.